guys, what's up? This is Chaos Bender here again for yet another video, and welcome back to the Road to Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. In the previous episode, we completed, well, we sort of completed, uh, come on, <laughs> work with me. We completed Ready Land, and even though we still need two, uh, two medals to find, it is going to be not a problem, since on uh, Orange Gorge, that is such an awkward name, dude. We're going to be finding the orange switch that I talked to you guys about in the previous episode. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this uh, into this one, and let's go to Ghost Grounds. This is going to be... I mean, this is... Um, the art here is actually pretty good. I didn't really mention how much I like the, the art style of this game. It is so, so good, man. Um, since the episodes are not going to be taking, like, really, really long, I guess I could, like, you know, explore a little bit. Um, as you can see right here, we, um, I do want to show off a couple of, um, you know, a couple of, uh, <laughs> extra power-ups, uh, power-offs, <laughs> sorry about that, extra power-ups, since in the previous episode I didn't really get to show, uh, too many of them, so, uh, one thing that I did not mention in the previous episode, and that I do want to make, uh, clear before we continue, uh, through our adventure, is that the top screen, which is actually the small one on, uh, on the video that you are watching, that was a pretty bad move, on the video that you're watching, uh, the small one is uh, the top, and uh, this is not going to give you. Uh, this is not only going to give you an idea of where you are in the area. Uh, I actually want that little uh, syrup, or I'm not really sure how it's called. It. Um, the map not only is going to give you an idea of where you are in the area, it is also going to give you a, a clue. Well, n not a clue. It is going to tell you where the metals are in the stage. That is really, uh, you know, that is basically a really, really good method of, uh, you know. Getting a hundred percent. I mean, even if you do not know where a uh, where a metal is, it is going to be really, really obvious. And if it is not, uh, the uh, okay, we haven't really sh uh, come across like any uh, like uh, any of this right now. But later on, we're gonna be having secret doors, and those are also shown in the map itself. I mean, as you can see right here, when I get close to a door, uh, let's see, okay, uh, there we go, on the top screen right here, um, the, uh, these doors are either white, uh, I think none of them are black, but, uh, even though they are some, uh, there are some black, um, doors, and they, they still come out as being, uh, you know, white. So, I believe the secret doors are marked as, um, you know, as the black on the little screen, which is going to give you an idea of where the secret doors are. Even if you do not see them, uh, you are sort of going to be able to see them on the, uh, on the, you know, on the big screen itself. It's really, really not a problem. Right here, we just took the, uh, thunder power-up, and as you can see, one, uh, another thing that I didn't mention in the previous episode is that 100 of these are going to give you an extra life. You are barely, barely going to die on this level, and it's really, you know, it's basically going to be incredibly difficult for you to die, um, you know, on this game at all, but if you do, the lives here are so, so, you know, common to find, and even if you do not find them, at the end of every stage, if you remember the bonus, like, minigame to get more stars, uh, if you, you can easily get over 1,000, um, uh, you know, like, score, which, uh, it is going to net you one extra life right away. So, if you're having any trouble, um, dying on this level, I, I not on this level, if you're having any trouble dying on the, you know, in the game itself, do not worry at all, I mean, it is just basically going to, um, you know, give you as many, many lives as you need. So right here, I am, uh, you know, just exploring for a little bit. I mean, like I said before, this is a really casual game. I really, really like the fact that you don't really need to stress out about anything. Um, so, you know, just playing it here, like, really, really casually. I really wanted to show you guys this game before we jump on to, you know, the Rainbow Curse. Another game, uh, you know, the, uh, a game that I'm extremely hyped about because, well, I already mentioned this, you know, this game is basically one of my favorites in the DS library, and uh, just getting another, uh, you know, another one of these games on the Wii U, it look, I mean, plus it looks incredibly good. It, if you guys have seen uh, the, the Rainbow Curse, but, you know, in any uh, trailer or uh, channel, which is, um, you know, which is like, uh, uh, journal and shit, uh, you would know how good it looks. I mean, in 1080p and 60fps, this game looks absolutely incredibly like ridiculously good and i cannot i plus the style it's it, it has that little uh, clay style i'm not really sure if that's how you call it but that game is just i mean in my personal opinion looks so good right here we have another instance of uh, an orange switch 
And the, uh, well, another orange switch block, I guess. Uh, the orange switch itself is going to be accessible to us, I think, on the next level. Or the third one. I mean, it's on World 2, but I don't remember 100%. Uh, it's a, it's one, it's a level called Rift Ruins. I have my, my guides, uh, right here. Uh, or my, you know, my notes, rather. But, you know, that's just basically it. So, let me see, I just want to, I, I think I missed one of the coins, but I am not, like, 100% sure. Uh, we're gonna be checking that out right over here. Oh, that was close. Uh, so right here I am just going to do this, and, you know, just, just clicking Kirby, it is going to give us, like, some, you know, the, uh, really, really easy exit. I think, I'm, I'm most certain I didn't get all of the coins, but, uh, you know, even if I don't, like I said before, I'm going to have an extra, um, you know, uh, video. Oh, I, I am get, I am so, I am doing so bad on these levels, dude, on video, I mean, I... Mm, I am getting so mad about this because on my practice playthroughs, I mean, without even trying, I would get like over 1500. It is, it is like so, so annoying. Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, we're not gonna be fine. Uh, uh, I, I am so dumb. I, I, yeah, uh, <laughs> I thought it was on the second level. Uh, but we're gonna, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the third one. It's, uh, the world itself is called Ye Yellow Adventure. So. I'm really sorry about uh, the deceiving information, if you can, uh, make sure to tell me in the comments that I am a noob and a scrub for not knowing my Kirby Canvas Curse, despite it being one of my favorite games on the DS. Um, I'm really sorry about that, but, you know, even if I get all of the, uh, switches, I am not going to go back to those levels, uh, you know, after we finish the game. Which, uh, this is also something that I have not touched yet. This game is sh even shorter, well, no, okay, I can't say that because the story itself. Oh, and by the way, this is uh, this is what I meant. As you can, okay, this is not really too clear. Uh, if you can go ahead and uh, go full screen right here, um, there was a secret door, but you couldn't really see it very, very well on the you know little screen right here. I'm just going to be, uh, you know, if you can see it, it's right by, uh, right under the you know the block of. <laughs> Uh, block of, uh, you know, earth. earth? It's not really Earth. Like, the block of dirt. Um, so, that also gives you an idea of where to look for the metals, because there are some of these uh, hidden uh, doors that are not really going to be too, too uh, common. <laughs> uh, by the way, I think... Oh, okay, I forgot, I completely forgot about the fact that you can manually get rid of the power-ups if you click the name of it. So, that is a really, really good method. Uh, before do- I, I mean, before I actually f uh, found out about this, I would actually take hits on purpose in order to lose my, uh, my, uh, my power-up, and that would result into me not doing too well. <laughs> uh, Alright, so right here, I just want to go down, please let me, uh, let me escape, my friend. Uh, this probably, uh, one of the easiest medals, I mean, there's really no, <laughs> there's really no challenge here whatsoever, and the enemies that, um, they put here to, you know, just, just guard the metal is not really too, uh, are not really too difficult to avoid, <laughs> or not avoid, I, you know, are not really too difficult to read, read, to defeat, I'm really, really sorry about my lack of, um, English knowledge. Uh, right here, the, uh, electricity is, uh, uh why did I... Uh, where did my electricity go? I, I didn't take a hit. But okay, uh, you can um, you can tap on the these little bomb thingies, uh, and they're going to be, you know, just you're gonna be done. <laughs> um, new thing, you are not able to draw uh, on this um, area. It is going to be uh, leaving you uh, to your. Uh, by the way, yeah, I think I showed this in the previous episode. Uh, it is going to leave you uh, without ink. Well, not without ink, but you cannot really use your ink while you are in that area. So uh, you kind of uh, you kind of want to be careful with that shit. So uh, I mean, it's really not too difficult. Uh, we're gonna be having a later levels in which it, it, that can be extremely annoying. But for as uh, so of right now, oh, that was close. Uh, I actually uh, lost my you know my cursor. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, those are not going to be really difficult. Right here, staple uh, enemy in the Kirby uh, franchise, obviously one of those dudes which you cannot, um, which you cannot, uh, you know, uh, defeat. So right here, uh, you need this power up in order to get this medal because since you cannot draw, uh, the tornado power up is uh, is going to allow you to well just jump and jump. <laughs> so I guess it is a uh, you know really good. Um, not one of my favorite power ups since uh, you know it it, it kind of makes you. 
maybe not lose control, but it's not as controllable as other power-ups, if I'm clear. So right here, I'm not even going to worry about uh, doing good, uh, you know, at this stage, because as I have said before, I am doing really, really well. I, I got over a thousand, so I guess that's pretty good for the video itself. Oh, man. And, um, let's see. Um... Uh, one thing that I will mention also in the following episode is that I am recording these a week in advance because um, uh, Kirby Rainbow Curse comes out on February uh, February February I I, I do I don't fucking know how to pronounce it properly on February the twentieth and uh, let me see I think I do want to go back for that fire power up um, so I am uploading this on Monday is it the eighth or well, just basically the second uh, Monday of, uh, you know, the month. Because uh, Kirby, you know, uh, for 10... I do plan on doing this for, uh, let's see. Uh, I do want to do this right here. Oh, okay, close. I actually thought I was going to be done. <laughs> I was a good thing that, you know, they were, you know, kind of forgiving with that. So, even with all of the... Um, I mean, this game is going to take me 8 episodes to complete, uh, you know, the main story. And then the extra stuff I'm going to be showing in uh, two post-game episodes, which uh, is going to give us a total of um, uh, of a 10 episodes, which is really good. And after that, we are going to be taking care of uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, which is really, really good. Right here, uh, these, uh, this is a new mechanic. You have these little platforms in which uh, Kirby sticks. Uh, to this green, what, stuff, lime, whatever, um, and, uh, it is, uh, you know, you're able to put the, like, play or go button, and you're gonna be able to ride, uh, the thing, and, you know, you can also stop it. As you can see right there, we have that little, uh, what are those enemies called? The Goros? And, uh, if you, uh, obviously if you stop, it is going to give you an opportunity not to, well, not to get hit. <laughs> Oh man, I lost my fire, my fire power up. Not really anything to worry about. All right, so let me see. As I am doing this, you want to click uh, this bomb uh, block right here, and you want to go all the way back in order to get this. Oh man, I almost lost another life. Uh, no worry. Oh, close. Uh, you you have a really really uh, good invincibility time uh, after you get hit, so you don't really uh, need to worry about uh, you know the hits that you take. I mean, it's really not too bad. So let's see, I am just going to do this right over here, and we're going to go to the next area. So the thing that I was saying is that, um, you know, basically Kirby and the Rainbow Curse will be taken care of on December, uh, on December, on February the 20th, and uh, from what I've seen in the trailers, it looks like so, so good, man. I mean, not only, I, I mean, I already praised the look of the game, but I mean... Also, it looks like it has a lot of um, post-game stuff. There's a lot of things to find. Like right here, we are uh, looking to uh, looking for medals. But what I saw is that there are uh, these little chests that, that you can find in every level, and those are gonna give you like special uh, rewards. I cannot really wait to start, uh, you know, collecting that because I do want to make uh, you know 100% guide of it. So that's going to be really really good. Uh, and plus the use of amiibo, that's, uh, you know, that's also going to be extremely good. And speak about amiibo, you guys have some uh, amiibo talk uh, on the next episode because, you know, right now I'm just going to save it for, you know, a little bit. Um, right here, Magma Mount, it is the, well, last level, uh, what I remember? Uh, yeah, the last level of, um, you know, the, uh, what was it called? Uh, Arrange? Arrange Group? No, no, that's, that was, that was pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, basically, right now we're gonna go to another boss game, and right now, let's go for King DDD. Uh, as I said before, I'm going to be doing the, like, I'm going to put this, in this intro on screen, because it's, you know, even though it's not new, it is new for King DDD itself. Uh, but after we, uh, have to face all of these enemies once again, I'm going to be skipping it. I mean, it's not like it takes, like, so, so much to, f to show, but, I mean, it's, it's kind of annoying. This one right here, uh, with your stylus, you need to guide the Kirby uh, and his cart to the food uh, patches or stamps, whatever. Uh, you can defeat the enemies by um, by putting the you know this little thing like uh, at the top of them. Uh, Kirby can uh, take some damage right here if he touches the enemies directly, but if you have this little like the thing that you are guiding, if you have it, uh, you know as you saw right there, if you have it touch the enemies before Kirby does. It is going to save him, and it is going to save a lot of time, because, uh, I think taking a damage here, I mean, I don't really take too much damage, you know, to, to, to remember about this, but, um, 
you know, taking damage uh, is going to potentially slow you down. That's, you know, what I kind of remember. Uh, but let's see. Speed up. I think this is the last... Uh, this is the last... Um, I'm actually kind of concentrating because I think... No, okay. So this is not the last... Uh, the last area. As you can see in the top screen, it has the... Uh, like the... Uh, you know, it actually shows you uh, your progress. We have one more area to take care of. And, I mean, the, even though this is not, like, super, super easy, right there, as you can see, I took some damage. What the hell? Did I... Did I win? Oh, there we go. I mean, I, I think I lost uh, King DDD, you know, of my sight, and I remembered that uh, we had one more uh, area to go through, so... That was kind of a... Um, you know, I, I kind of looked that over. I'm really sorry. So, we get a win. That, that is really, really good. And uh, right now, as the... You know, just like I did in the previous episode, I'm going to go back to the place and just look at, you know, the... Okay, so I only missed one of them, which was what? Um, it was here, so... Uh, we're gonna go back to those, you know, whenever uh, we have the post-game stuff, when I go back and claim every single medal. So that is pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow for when we go to Yellow Adventure. So you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.